We're going to work on graphing linear equations using slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. This is called slope-intercept form. And the reason why it's called slope-intercept form is because when you look at this equation, this number right here will be your slope, and you should remember that we always use m for the slope. And this number right here is the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis. So we're going to work with just simple graphing first. Things that you need to remember. Slope, we talk about being rise over run. And we always start by graphing the y-intercept first. So. If we look, I have some graphs. I'm just going to make up some problems as we go and make sure that we cover all the possible questions. The first one I'm going to do is y equals 1 half x plus 3. I am always going to start by naming my b and the y-intercept. My y-intercept is 3. And the slope for this line is one half. So, first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with the B. I need to put a point on the Y axis at three. So I have a point right there on the Y axis at the three. Now I'm going to do the slope. And we're going to use the slope in two directions. We can go up one and over two because our slope is rise over run. But I could also go down one and left two, and my points will still line up. Down one, left two, or up one, right two. And when I look at the equation of this line, I see that the slope is positive, so that tells me that the line should be going up to the right. And once I have a few points, I can establish that that is where my line is located. And don't forget your arrows. If we had the equation y equals negative 2x minus 1, I'm going to once again start by naming my b and my m. For this problem, the b is negative 1, and the slope is the m is negative 2. And since we usually refer to slope as being rise over run, I'm going to put that as 2 over 1. So I always start graphing with the b. My b needs to be located at negative 1, so I can put a point there. And then from here, I'm going to use my slope to get additional points. This negative 2 tells me that the slope needs to go to the left. So I can go up to left 1 and put a point, or I could go down two and right one and put a point. Up to left one and put a point or down to right one and put a point. And then you should have enough points to graph your lines. And again, don't forget your arrows. Keep in mind, if you had an equation where it appears that there is no slope and it appears that there is no y-intercept, you can still graph that. Your slope is 1, and the y-intercept can be 0. So in this case, the b is 0, and the y, sorry, the slope is 1. And if you want to write that as rise over run, then you could put it 1 over 1. To graph this one, we're going to start at 0, which is the origin. And then the slope tells us to go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Or we could go down one, left one, down one, left one. And that will give you your line. 